the only insurance stock that we are talking about. One of the biggest gainers have been IC, uh, ICICI Lombard today. And LIC, that stock too, is up almost 7% as we speak. A big surge actually. Pull up the intraday chart of LIC and buzzing with huge volume. So, Yash joins in to tell us what's driving these stocks higher. Yash. Well, Mangalam, let's start with ICICI Lombard first. Uh, the monthly uh, numbers for the month of May came out uh, and the industry has grown at 15%. Uh, compare that to how ICSA Lombard has grown. The company has grown its premium in the month of May at 22% outperforming the industry by quite a margin and it's not just May. In the previous month, that was the month of April, the company again grew its premium at 22%. So it's off to a good start as far as uh, the first quarter of current financial year is concerned. Uh, April, May put together, ICICI Lombard has also gained market share by 60 basis points and it's these uh, positive factors which is aiding the stock performance in today's trade. Uh, let's come to LIC. Very quickly, five important developments which has happened very recently, uh, which are, uh, you know, spelling out positive news for LIC. The first one, clarity on surrender value regulations. That came just yesterday. Uh, it seems LIC is going to be the least impacted player because of that high surrender value and uh, will have to, you know, continue business as normal without getting much impacted because of that payment of higher surrender value. The second one is the company's plans to enter health insurance market. Uh, as the new government has come in and started working on its first 100-day priority, LIC is going to be in focus because it is expected that an approval could come in for composite insurance license through which LIC could enter the health insurance market. One can imagine if a large player like LIC enters the health insurance market, it's going to be very, very positive for the company. The chairman in the previous interview had told CNBC TV18 that health insurance is the natural choice for them and they are exploring acquisition opportunities when it comes to standalone health insurance companies to make that brownfield entry into the space. Third reason, strong FI25 commentary. The management had guided for a 15% APE growth, 300 basis points upwards of uh, you know APE growth in terms of VNB growth and margin of 19 to 20%. Well, it remains to be seen how they grow their VNB and margin. But as far as the first two months APE growth is concerned, they've already grown at 15%. Uh, a valuation comfort is also there. The cheapest insurance stock at about 0.9 times price to embedded value with the strongest, gu strongest guidance going ahead. And finally, supply overhang. SEBI has given them the approval uh, till May 2027 to achieve 10% public shareholding. So there is no supply overhang also which the market is anticipating. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, uh, Yash, for joining and giving us those top reasons why LIC is buzzing in today's trading session. Uh, the insurer 